So my brother and I recently went on a trip to Taos, New Mexico. And the reason we went on this trip was not only in the name of traveling and exploring the world, uh, but moreover to visit the Neem Karoli Baba Ashram, uh, which is the all of the footage that you're going to be seeing in this video. Now, you may know who Neem Karoli Baba is, or as he's also known, Maharaji, but if you don't know, Neem Karoli Baba is an, or was an Indian saint, a Hindu saint, a guru, um, and words don't really do him and these kinds of things justice. Um, but the significance of this to me was that Neem Karoli Baba was Ram Dass's guru and was who actually who transformed Richard Alpert into Ram Dass. And if you don't know who Ram Dass is, I highly recommend listening to one of his lectures, listening to any sort of videos or getting books that he's written because Ram Dass is like low key, like my guy. Like he's like my tutor, he's my teacher, he's my friend. Um, He's helped me understand how the mind works and what it is to exist and what it is to be a human being and in the qualities of being honest and being loving and the humor, the cosmic humor that comes in the human predicament of not living life in such a heavy, dead way not being so caught up in our personality, in our ego, and finding, developing a space in ourselves which is loving and honest and open and humorous and has the capacity to experience and witness the beauty that it is to exist. So Ram Dass, I, I could go on and on about him, but he was the reason that my brother and I went down to Taos, New Mexico to visit this ashram. And <clears throat> like I said about Maharaji, I could, wor words don't really do, do it justice, but he's essentially the embodiment of love, of consciousness, of selflessness. And there's, I know that the uh, whole guru thing is weird to some people, um, but I've, I've, I've found the beauty in it. I, I mean, I don't have a guru. Maharaji or Neem Karoli Baba isn't like my guru. I don't consider him my guru. But through the teachings and understanding of what Ram Dass is talking about, I see what Ram Dass saw. I see the beauty, I see the mystery and the wonder and the rascaliness, the silliness inside of these beings known as gurus. Um, but I just wanted to preface this video by letting you know why I went down here. Um, and I can tell you nothing, nothing extraordinary or incredible happened while I was sitting in this ashram. I didn't like get shot into samadhi or like have a kundalini, kundalini awakening or anything like that. But um, what was emphasized to me was the stillness that, to be honest, I've been developing and cultivating and working on throughout the past years now. That stillness that I felt in that ashram, was it's, it's just purely centered on presence on being here and whatever you make whatever i make of being here is whatever we make of being here but the the truth of it is is that we are here we are just here and sitting in this ashram sitting in this temple that was exacerbated that was pronounced for me was this stillness of consciousness of awareness and uh while sitting in there just these very interesting feelings churning through my stomach of bliss and joy and contentment, um, which definitely caught my attention. Um, 
and I'd be lying if I said I wasn't fanboying a little bit while I was at this place. Um, just knowing, you know, like what I said about Ramdas, how much I look up to him and how much I've listened to him, you know. Knowing that this building, this temple, this establishment is devoted to Ramdas's guru in the same way that Ramdas was. And not only that, but knowing that Ramdas and all his spiritual buddies have been there many, many times and chanted many times and sat in meditation many times. It was a beautiful feeling and kind of like the feeling of like meeting, meeting a celebrity, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it was a very beautiful experience and I just wanted to share that with you guys. So I hope you enjoy.
Sitaram, 